In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and sell your first digital product on system.io. But before we get started, let's talk about what you need to have in place before we get started. So first of all, you need to record the videos ahead of time. And you also need to set them up on a platform that is good for video hosting. Now, there's quite a few out there. There's Wistia, there's Vimeo. But what I would not recommend is to use YouTube. So I would either use Vimeo or Wistia. Now, Vimeo is, for me, the better option. It's uh, quite affordable and it also has very good ways of protecting your videos. So I've already gone ahead and uploaded all my videos onto Vimeo. So let me show you how to get this whole system started. All right, so right now I'm in system.io and these are my videos on Vimeo. So you can see this is my online mastery course. So what you need to do is to just copy these links and I'll show you how to add them on. So I'm going to start with this one here. So this is my first lesson. So I'm going to copy the link and all I need here is the video link. OK, I'm going to click on copy. Now, back over here now on my site, what I need to do is to come over here to product and sales and I'm going to come over here now to courses. So now we can create our course. So let's call this my first course. And this is where you add your description. And over here is where you'd add your URL. So let's call this first course. Okay. Now over here, the course domain, I'm just going to leave that as it is. And pretty much everything else is okay. Now let's hit save. And notice what happens. And notice what happens. Now we have this black canvas. So this is asking us to add a brand new module. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add module. So let's give this a, a module a name. So I'm just going to call this module one. Or we can just call this getting started. Hit save. And now it's time to add all our lessons. Or here they call them lectures. So I'm going to click on this plus button. And we can say lesson one. So this is pretty cool. You can delay this um, based on uh, time. So you could say, OK, after lesson one, I just want to delay this uh, one day or two days. And this is how this whole course would work. Anyway, over here now we have two templates. So I like to go with this uh, video one because I have a video. But if yours is text based, you can just choose the text template. So now I'm just going to hit save. And this is where I need to add my video. So just click anywhere in here and making sure your video type here is direct link. You want to paste it like that. So this is my Vimeo link, which I just copied from here. OK, so we also have other options like uh, custom embed and uh, upload file. But uh, direct link is the best one. So you can also set uh, autoplay. So if you want it on, you can just set it on and then the video will start playing as soon as um, they open the page. We also have controls so you can set them on or off. Now, further down here, we also have other customizations. So uh, you can uh, add a border here or a border radius and specify uh, the border radius itself. So let's say you want this to be about three. Uh, ideally, it would be nice on all sides. OK, so you can choose your style here. You can be solid. It can be, you know, pretty much whatever you want. So I'm just going to leave this as none. And we can also add our margins and so on. So this is what you can do on the actual video player itself. So this is also visible on mobile and desktop, which is brilliant. But you can also specify where you want this to be seen. So if you don't want this to be seen on the desktop, you can just do that. And pretty much that's what they see. OK, excellent. So over here on the bottom, you can see we have lecture one and it also has a title. So all you have to do now is to go in and replace this. So we can just say getting started. Like that, and then you can uh, add your description. If you have any links, you can add all your links here. And if there's anything that you need to delete on this lesson, you can go ahead and delete it by hovering over here like that and then just deleting all the elements you don't need like that. OK, so once you're done, just hit save. And then we're going to exit out of here. 
So that's our lesson one. So to save, to save me time, I can just duplicate this uh, as a template and I can just do that. And this now becomes my lesson two. So to customize it, I can just click here. Now I can just come over here and add my second video. So this one here, I can just copy the link like that. Come back over here, click on the video, paste my link. So this is my lecture number two. And you can see now, because this is a duplicate, it has my rounded corners here and all the settings that I would have set up, saving you a lot of time. So now that we have that, we also have settings here. So this is our page settings. So we can add our default typography here. We can also add our links to colors, text colors, and so on. Now, if there is uh, any uh, code you need to add to the header, you can always add it here and also on the footer. Okay, so now I'm going to hit save changes and I'm going to exit out of here. So now we have two lessons, as you can see. So I want to rename this to lesson number two. So I'm just going to click here. And now let's call this lesson two. And save. If I need to add, uh, now if I need to add another module, I can just click here on this button here to add the second module. So let's say this is module one. I'm going to hit save and you can see now it has been added here on the bottom and then I can go ahead and start adding all my lectures into module one. And this is also drag and drop, by the way, so you can always drag and drop uh, and rearrange things like that. So if we take a look now at our course, you can see this is the layout. It's very simple and you can also mark it as complete here on the bottom. So now that we have our course set, what we need to do now is to set up our landing page. So I'm going to come over here to my funnels. And I'm going to click here on create to create our funnel. So this one here is going to be my first course because we need to sell this. I'm going to click on sell and I'm going to leave this as United States dollar and hit create. So this is my first course and this could be my landing page. So I'm going to hit select. So I can take a quick view and this is what it looks like. And it has all my details over here. Excellent. So now that I have my page, we can further customize this by clicking on this edit button here. So you can change all your colors. And if you don't need the uh, time, uh, countdown timer, you can just delete it by just coming over here like that. And you can further customize this. But the most important thing here is once everything is all saved, you want to add your automation. So I'm going to hit save changes for now and show you where you can uh, set this up. So I'm going to exit. And what you want to do now is to come over here to the resources. So you want that when someone purchases uh, from this page, if you click on this drop down, uh, we can now go to our course. So I'm going to choose course here on this drop down and then I can just choose the course. So this one here is my first course and I also have course access type. I'm going to click on this drop down so it can be full access or drip. So I just want to give them full access. And now it says grant access on specific dates. So I can set my specific date here if I need to. So let's say it's available on, uh, let's say the 28th. I can just do that. And then over here, we can add our price plans. So if you don't have a price plan, you can just create a brand new one here. But if you have created one already, you can just select one shot and then you can choose your, your price plan. So uh, let's say it's this one here. Set it like that and save. Okay, so now that we have all this set, while we're still here on the resources, we also want to give them a tag when they purchase. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, click on this drop down here and select my tag. And then I'm going to choose the tag. So you need to uh, create the tag first. So in my case here, I've got quite a few tags that are created. So I'm just going to say my first product. And then save. So if you're wondering where you create your tags, you can always come over here to the top. 
So if you're wondering where to add the tags, you'd come over here to contacts, click on tags. And this is where you can click on add new tag. And this is where you can give the, the, the tag. So the tag here could be uh, my first course, or it could be uh, engineering 101 or affiliate marketing, whatever it is. So that's where you add your tag and then connect it on the sales page. So every time someone purchases it, then they get access to uh, the course itself and they'll have a tag associated with their name, which means if you want to send emails out at a later stage, you can send the, these email out segmented based on tags. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.